going to go ahead and under stitch which means sewing on to the facing pocket facing at one eighth of an inch approximately at one eighth of an inch when you under stitch you don't necessarily have to um, back stitch The next step for us is to, when we fold it, we're going to make sure that the seam is pulled to the back side. And if you have understitched it correctly, that's how it is going to sit normally, like naturally. I'm going to press this. This is the facing part of your pocket. Now we're going to go ahead and do this side, so take the right side, now this curves here, right, so if you want you can flip it to the wrong side, that way you can place it so that it's kind of like a copy of it, it should match exactly as it is on here, okay, and when you place it to the right side, that's how it's going to look very easy. I'm going to pin it right here so that I'm holding all of these layers together and I'm going to pin here, here. I'm not sewing on this. I'm just holding this in place and this notch should line up to this folded edge. There's a notch here on this piece. This folded edge should line up to that notch. So that's when you know that it's placed correctly. If you need to go back and adjust a little bit, that's fine. You can go ahead and do that. So once this is pinned, we're not doing anything to the right side. We're going to flip it back to the wrong side. And I'm going to go ahead and pin the pocket back. Now I'm going to sew the pocket back first. You can do that at <coughs> half an inch seam allowance. Slow down, curve as you sew. Keep your edge to the half an inch mark. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and overlock this edge. Okay. 